creating a topo surface. When we're creating a topo surface, we're creating the existing ground. We only have one existing ground on a site. So we are picking the levels of the dirt, uh, of the soil. And to do this, we generally like to be in a 3D view or in a site plan view. So I'm going to go up to my default 3D view here. And now I'm going to go over to my massing and site tab and I'm going to go to my model site. I'm going to click on the topo surface and now it's asking me to add a point on the surface. The point on the surface we can say what elevation are we at. I'm going to pick a point in four corners of the property lines you know on my lot. I'll pick a point here and I'm going to pick a point over here. I'll pick a point down here and notice it built a triangle. Now topo surfaces come by many names in industry. They'll come by surface, topo surface, or triangular irregular network. A triangular irregular network is also known as a tin and anytime you have three points you can build a triangle and then when you add another point in such as over here I'll add a point over here it builds another triangle so now I got two triangles being built and this whole surface is a series of triangles now I'm gonna change my elevation I'm gonna go up here and change my elevation to three feet and I'm gonna come in here and I'm going to put the area over in here, this in the center area of my lot is raised up three feet. And that is because this is the area where I'm going to build my building on. So it's generally a little higher for drainage. And now I'm going to go in my backyard here and I'm going to go up to uh, six feet and I'm going to place a little mound back here for my septic and I'm just going to pick a little area back here and so that's six foot tall on top and I'm going to actually go in and put some other uh, points in say at four feet and I'm going to just go around the outside of it at four feet and you know uh, everything isn't always perfectly flat so I'm going to go in and just say uh, yeah let's go in a two foot uh, two foot uh, is good and I'm going to just say over here is that two feet and there's two feet and I'm going to say over here is two feet okay and there's two feet and so I'm kind of building my surface a little bit and uh, so I'll even come in here and say oh let's put a little dip in here let's go in with uh, like uh, let's go in at six inches and say oh it's kind of flat up in my front corner here Okay, so that's all six inches around here. When I'm done adding in the points now, I don't want to build multiple surfaces. I do this one time. I only have one surface. If you start making multiple surfaces, I only get to check the checkbox once. I have to go back and edit the surface. If I create multiple surfaces, I have multiple grounds. We don't have multiple grounds. That will cause confusion. So I'm going to finish the surface, and I have a ground. Now, I might want to spin around and look at this. So I'm going to hold down my, um, I'm going to spin, I'm going to hold down my shift key and I'm going to grab with my left mouse and I'm going to start spinning around looking at my site here a little bit. Let's change our visual style. Let's go shade it. And now you can start seeing it a little better right see the little mound in the back it's kind of flat 
here. I can look at it from an edge, see how high it is. And the, I'm looking at it. I can look at it from the right side view. I can look at it from various views here. And uh, so I'll just go back to my default 3D view. And there's basically my little mound back here. It's a little flat over here. And we'll spin it any way you want to take a look at it. Okay. You can zoom in, zoom out, whatever. But there is my surface. And I'm going to place my building in this flatter area in here eventually.